Well, today is Monday. It is July 31st, 2017. This is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. Good morning. Hope you had a nice weekend, took advantage of this weather. Wow, can you believe this is July? Yesterday, I think we were in the 70s most of the day yesterday, if not all day. It was just an absolutely gorgeous day yesterday, and of course Saturday a little warmer, but really still a very nice day. What's going on right now? As you can see over my shoulder here, we can see the Goldsboro Water Tower, City of Goldsboro Water Tower back there, beginning to get a little bit of sunshine right off the corner right here. You can see that sunshine bouncing off. Going to be another gorgeous day today. Absolutely beautiful. Let's take a look at what's going on weather-wise. In the Wayne County area, we're right now, you believe we're at 56 degrees. This is fall weather. 56 degrees. Now, this is in Pikeville at the, uh, at the, uh, at the executive jet port. The airport there in Pikeville, 56 degrees right now. In uh, downtown Goldsboro, center of Goldsboro, out of Seymour Johnson Air Force Base, we can't get a can't get a reading out there right now, but we know it's 63 degrees at Seymour Johnson, which is still very cool for this time of year. So 56, and sunny skies we have, or soon to be sunny skies completely, around the Wayne County area. Okay. Otherwise, today we see the forecast for today. Uh, Sunny skies, a high near 85 degrees, 85 and sunny with a breeze from the north becoming northeasterly later on up to 11, hour, 11 miles an hour later this morning. Overnight tonight we see mostly clear skies, a low near 61 this evening, which is really nice. Winds will be calm. And then for tomorrow we see again more of the same, a little warmer. Uh, Tuesday we see sunny skies, 88 the expected high for tomorrow. Winds will be calm and then kick up to about five miles an hour coming out of the north later on tomorrow afternoon. And that's what we have weather-wise around the Wayne County area. Good morning. Well, let's see now. Today is Monday. It's the last day of July. How about that? The year is moving right along. And in August, that's tomorrow, beginning August, we've got about three weeks from this Friday and the uh, two weeks from this Friday. Two weeks from this Friday, and uh, we've got the, of course, the uh, United Way campaign kickoff getting underway on August 18th at the Paramount Theater. We'd love to see you there at the Paramount Theater beginning at 7 p.m. We've got a variety show for you. It's called Wayne's Got Talent, and I'm telling you, Wayne County has the talent. We've got some outstanding talent you will absolutely love. We've got singing, dancing, uh, we've got real comedy, and we've got some what some might consider act comedy. You know, it's just really comedy, it's just kind of, well, I won't use the word dumb, but there you go. We did this last year for the April Fool Follies, and it's a repeat of that kind of show. It's a variety show. We got new talent, got uh, some people returning from last year. We got some people that couldn't make it, sorry to say. But we've got some new people coming in that's just, it's just dynamic. You're going to love this. Yeah, uh, tickets are only $15 and on sale right now at the Paramount Theater. Here's the lineup right here. We got the Bluegrass Jam. That's Daniel, Adam, and Samantha Casey, uh, the Casey family. We got Margot Smith, and she will just sing your, sing your socks off. That she will. She is wonderful. We got, uh, let's see, the Hitmen. We've got Courtney Smith, Miss Goldsboro is going to be dancing. We got uh, Pastor Glenn Phillips, and you will enjoy that. That you will. We got uh, DJ Coles and Warrior Avenue, along with the various voices of praise. That, uh, that, uh, that's going to be also wonderful. We got the Jazz and Saints out of out of uh, Southern Wayne High School, a jazz band. We got the Bullard family, Cousin Brossy, Thomas Vick, and a whole lot more. All right? Anyway, that's coming. And plus, we've got the Foolers from last year. We've got uh, Carol Bowden is going to be a big part of this program. Already is, in fact. We have, of course, Cousin Brossy is going to be one of the Foolers as well, one of the six of us. We got, a, uh, uh, we got uh, Julie Beck from Mount Olive. Yeah, she's another one. She is one. Mm -hmm. We've got, uh, of course, Jeff Holtz and and Kurt Keller and yours truly. All right, anyway, it's a big show, lots of fun, lots of laughing, lots of great singing, lots of great entertainment. August 18th, mark that on your calendar, that's a Friday night, want to see you there. Tickets are only $15, there's no reserve seating, so just get your $15 and get there when you can and, get, and grab a good seat, okay? And don't forget, it's for United Way of Wayne County, it's their campaign kickoff for this year. Okay, what's special about today? Today's the 31st. 31st. Today is World Ranger Day. I'm not sure what kind of ranger that is. It could be uh, one of the, uh, could be a forest ranger. It could be uh, one of the army rangers, uh, you know, ranger. It uh, could be uh, one of the, um, another kind of ranger. Right, lone ranger. 
Oh, child, oh. We got uh, also today is National Mutt Day. Okay, it's a good day. Every dog has his day, and today is Mutt Day, right? <laughs> okay, here's today's trivia question. Trivia question category: rocks, kind of stones is more of the category. Stones is a category. When this country was first, when this continent was first being inhabited from, well, let's just say from all over, there were ships coming in from Belgium. Ships coming in from Belgium. And in those days, uh, to, keep, to keep ships uh, steady and firmly in, in placed in the water, uh, ship people would often, would often put stones, heavy stones in the bottom so that the keel would stay straight and it would, it would run a smooth course. Stones to kind of weight it down and keep it, keep it upright and keep everything going well. All right, those, when, when Belgium, Belgian, ships, Bel Belgian ships landed on the continent of North America, those stones then were used for a particular purpose. Where did those stones go? They were used for a very specific purpose. The stones in the bottom and the keel of the Belgian ships were used how? That's the question. I'll have the answer for you in just a few moments. Today at the Senior Center, it's the 31st. We've got uh, Bible study at 1030. We've got the bridge group at 1 o'clock playing bridge. We've got line dancing at 1 o'clock. We have a crafts class at 2. We've got bingo at 6 p.m. We've got core and more beginning at 6.15. And then you're going to learn all about exercise and fitness equipment at 7 p.m. tonight. That's at the Senior Center at 2001 East Ash Street, Goldsboro. Now, here's what's going on at the Wayne County Public Library today. We have ad Adulting 101. Adulting 101. And that's the title and the topic is Cooking on a Budget. This is for 18 to 25 year olds, 18 to 25 year olds, okay? Cooking on a Budget. It's today from 4 until 5 p.m. Learn how to cook quick, easy meals on a college budget. <laughs> that's important. Also tomorrow at the library, the Goldsboro Public Library, from 2.30 till 4.30, a legal aid clinic. Expungement is the topic. Legal Aid Clinic Expungement, the topic. Learn the basics of expungement in North Carolina through this free online seminar. It's an online seminar. Hmm. Followed by an online question and answer session. Expungement is a type of lawsuit in which a first time offender of a prior criminal conviction seeks to have the records of that earlier process be sealed, making the records unavailable through the state or federal repositories. No registration required to attend the program. And then in Mount Olive on the 2nd, which is, what is it? Uh, that is uh, Wednesday. Wednesday in Mount Olive at Steel Memorial Library, they're going to have MO Teens, Mount Olive Teens, Get Fit. Get Fit. Uh, they're going to have uh, making, they'll make healthy snacks, learn some uh, fun exercises as the guest speaker teaches how to stay healthy during the summer months. Whee! Okay. Goldsboro Hawks had their first meeting. That's the uh, Goldsboro Hawks is the semi-pro football team in the area. They had their first park at Herman had their first park at uh, meeting <laughs> at the park this past Saturday. No, I'm wide awake. I am. I really am. I really am. I'm wide awake. <laughs> okay, coming up, uh, they're going to have another meeting on August 12th at Herman Park from 3 until 5 p.m. Any player or sponsor who'd like to be a part of the Goldsboro Hawk franchise, please come out. All right, if you have any questions about this semi-pro football team, here you go. Area code 843-532-7102. 532-7102. That's 843-532-7102. Well, the walking trail at Wayne Community College has been closed down for, well, not completely. It's, uh, they're rerouting it because of construction going on in the area. A portion of the college's walking trail temporarily closed due to construction nearby. The trail is at the back of the campus and wraps around the college's tennis courts and football field. It does. Uh, the dirt road that forms part of the trail will be used by construction-related vehicles during part of August. Now, this starts today and will go for about two weeks. About two weeks. Um, they, uh, they're asking that the public and the college community bear with them during this construction time period. Okay, if you have any questions, you can call the college about that. But you won't have any questions because there you go. Now, you can walk because they've got, they've got tape around where you can go. They'll guide you through. It's just you can't, it's been rerouted. It hadn't been stopped or shut off or cut off or anything. New drone laws take effect. 
the end of the year, December 1, which is near the end of the year. Um, House Bill 128 prohibits drone use near prisons. Near is defined as a horizontal distance of 500 feet or a vertical distance of 250 feet. So you can't go over 250 feet. Uh, you can't go within 250 feet of a prison and you can't go within 500 feet away from a prison. NCDOT will place signs marking the boundaries. The law goes into effect December 1. And then House Bill 337 revises existing state drone laws. The language of the law has been changed to clarify the, that UAS laws, UAS, uh, that's a drone law, will now apply to model aircraft as well. No, that's an, an aircraft law. UAS law will now apply to model aircraft as well. The part of the law that goes to effect December 1st, model aircraft users are still exempt from the state's permitting requirements. Other charges in the law serve to streamline North Carolina regulations with federal regulations. You want to know more about this? Well, you can go to NCDOT's website, ncdot.gov. Uh, there is a UAS knowledge test study guide. It's been updated to reflect the changes. It's available at the uh, NC Division of ABA Aviation website, along with the uh, NC Division of Aviation website, along with information on how to ensure you are compliant with current regulations. December 1, it goes into effect. You'll be able to find it by then. Stuff the bus coming up. Stuff the bus this Friday, right? Benefiting communities supporting schools of Wayne County. Stuff the bus campaign. There's going to be a great big school bus parked at the Goldsboro News Argus on Berkeley Boulevard. You're asked to uh, purchase school supplies, drop them off there at that bus. We're going to stuff that bus, have that thing running over, okay? Coming, uh, come out on August 12th to Herman Park Center. Herman Park Center, there's going to be a, a, a fundraiser, a yard sale, if you will, for Special Olympics Athlete Council Club. You'll be able to rent an eight-foot table and sell your wares for only $10. $10 is all it'll cost you. Call, call Donna if you have any questions about this at 919-739-7451. 739-7451. Deadline to register is August 10th. So you have a little while now. You've got, well, you got 10 days starting tomorrow. Count today, you got 11 days. There you go. So anyway, a fundraiser for Special Olympics Athlete Council Club. Get details. And on, uh, okay, I'll tell you that later. We've got a few days on that. Anyway, here's the answer to today's trivia question. Back when this continent was first being settled by Europeans and others, uh, ships from Belgium used the stones in the bottom of their vessels, their shipping vessels, to do something very specific. What, 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 would, what was done with those stones? Yeah. I'll get it out in a minute. Yep, yep, yep. The, the answer is what they did with those stones, they took those stones out of the bottom of those, of those ships, took them to what became, or what was at that time, the city of New York, and they became the cobblestone streets of New York. They used those stones to pave the streets. There you go. That's the answer to today's question. We'll have more, and we'll do this again bright and early tomorrow morning. Now, this show repeats at uh, noon today and then again at 5.30 p.m. So if you have any questions, you can email me at wayne.alley at waynegov.com, wayne.alley at waynegov.com. We'll be back tomorrow. Have a great day. Please drive carefully. Enjoy this weather. It's going to be fantastic. Warming up by the end of the week. We'll have more details on that later on. For Bria McCoy and for Pat Garner, I'm Wayne Alley, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television.